If your nib's too slow and your ink won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to help you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Welcome everybody to Larry's Fountain Pins Review here in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm Larry. I'll be your host and I'm uh, going to talk a little bit about the newest fountain pen addition to the Noodlers pin line. It's called the Triple Tail. Okay, so it comes in your basic box that your Noodlers pins come into. Okay little cardboard box here and when you pull out the pen there's no pen because I already have it inked up and it comes in a little plastic pen sleeve right and then what is different is tells about the pen the instructions and here is the fish I think it's a good looking fish some people think it's an ugly fish I think it's just awesome awesome fish yep love love the fish well Interesting fish, would you think, Mr. Announcer? Oh, yes. Different. And it tells you about how to fill your pen and stuff. But in the back, it's going to give you the whole nine yards to break down everything about this triple tail. Okay? That's cool. Everything is right there, right there for you in black and white. Easy to read. And if you can't read, there's pictures. Okay. Be like me, I go by pictures. So, anyway, let's talk about this awesome pen yes you heard me say awesome pen uh, it's a clear resin model uh, and uh, the triple tail let's get a real close up at the nib I've been using it you can see the nib it's a number six nib and this nib screws in and screws out so that makes it easy and convenient where the other neuters pins are friction fit where you pull them out right so this the cap in the barrel is of resin with the screw on cap and it's got the chrome trim and has noodlers on your clip and it does have the noodlers ink here on your band right here okay but then when you get down to the barrel, it changes up just a hair. Right here, it does have the Noodler's ink right here. I don't know if you can see that good enough. Roll it just this way a little bit, yes. Got that? And then we'll flip it over. And then it you're going to have the triple tail right here. All right. So, I've been looking on Federalist Pins website about this pen for a while and I was debating should I or should I not for one thing these, these clear demo type pens just do nothing for me yeah I have a few but uh, for review purposes but they really don't pop in my head but what interests me was the triple tail the nib that's what got my attention I wanted to see this pin in action so I bought this pin from Frank so this pin can be an eyedropper for those people out there that are just totally into eyedroppers you know me now not that I've never done it but I like to change my inks out a whole lot so it does have a piston in there so that works great for me and uh, the piston holds about 1.9 mils of ink in it. And if you eye drop the pen, it would be about 6.84 mils. A lot of ink, right? Right. So this is Noodler's newest flex pen 
the triple tail. And it has a new resident body, which is? Uh, it's called either cellulose acetate butyrate or cotton butyrate. Uh, specifically, it's resistant to UV rays. It has a lower moisture absorption than acetate, and it has extremely high impact strength. Thank you, Mr. Nasser! That's pretty good, don't I? Yes. Oh, right. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, this will look like the Ahab, the noodles they have. You're going to have the same design, just a bit bigger, not much. Uh, the smell. Yeah, the smell is not that same noodler smell. It does have a little bit of odor to it, but not nowhere close to what it used to smell. Can I describe that odor to you? I don't know. It's it's not a nasty, icky smell. It's just a... Well, it's hard to describe, but it doesn't bother me at all, and you can barely smell it, so... They've done a good job working on the odor on the pen. So, rest assured, you're not going to hardly even smell it. If you smell it at all. Maybe it's just me. Oh, oh well. But it does have the screw cap. And for those who want to post, it does post. But it could be kind of long. Just as you see it here, even with large hands, it's going to work just perfect in your hand. And I would go down the barrel. The, the threads right here, if you tend to hold your pin higher, that's not going to uh, be annoying. And there's nothing sharp there. And the grip right here, uh, standard grip like the Ahab has. So, it works fine. Great. And, of course, this beautiful triple tail nib. Just really, Frank did an awesome job with it. Uh, it's a number six nib. So, how does this pin write? Well, we're going to do that in a minute. But I just have been wondering for some time now on the new three times number six flex steel nib. And wanted to see for myself, does this pin really deliver? Now, let's talk about affordability. That it is. And, you know, Frank makes his pins where if you're a tinker, you like to tinker with fountain pins, there's a made where you can take the pin completely apart and put it back together, right? So that's pretty cool. And if you need to adjust your feed, you can always heat set that feed. And that's pretty cool. So, let's get to writing. And so the ink that I have in here right now, I went ahead and used the Noodlers American Black. It's Eel. I guess it's American Eel. American Eel Black, I think is what it's called. But it's black. Black! Okay, here we go. So, am I tripping after that? I, I always trip out. What the heck? That's what life's all about, to enjoy life, have a good time while you're here on this planet. So, I'm going to use a little bit of a Rhodia paper. And we're going to just have a, a good time writing, okay? I want to go to cap and set this cap aside. Now, what I did do with the pen, I did wash it out first. I wanted to make sure that got any oils or anything off the feed that when it comes from the factory so that way uh, when you ink it up you may have a problem but skip or something or maybe you should have cleaned the nib out a lot of times I don't I just start writing with it but this time I wanted to make sure everything was in place before I wrote with the pen so I did so here we go let's do a, some doodling and stuff and this is just no pressure. Look at that, no pressure. Smooth nib, wet nib. If you like a wet, wet nib, 
Here's your baby. I love this nib. I love this pen. And then we'll do a little bit of pressure on here. And I'm not pushing it hard at all. And there was no pressure. And reverse writing. As you see, this nib has no issues. None whatsoever. Smooth, wet. The nib is right on the money. It delivers. If you're thinking about getting Noodler's fountain pen and you never have, or if you've had a Noodler's fountain pen and you've been disappointed, or if you're just a Noodler's fan, I suggest and highly recommend this pen. So, here's where I picked up this awesome pen at. Okay, and this is Frank. That's the man you want to talk to. And here's his phone number if you feel like calling Frank. And that's what Frank is there for. To answer his phone. And here's his website. And if you look in our description box, you will also find a code to use. Yes, but every little bit helps. And make sure I'm right about everything. Let's pins s o n l i n dot com. There, I should that dot right there. So this is Frank, right here. You can find him at Federal List Pens and Paper. And uh, that's his website. So, this pen, I'm really blown away in it. Uh, you know, I, I have checked reviews out on this pen. After I do my own review, I'll check out others. And I've heard some negative reviews and I've heard some okay reviews. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this pen an A+. Plus. Because it did everything I need a fountain pen to do. And this pen is affordable. Now, I can't wait till Frank from Doodler's Pens comes out with one in a color. Maybe blue or a different color because I'm going to buy one. Now, here is the music nib. Remember the music nib? So they are about the same size. And let me just show you just for the heck of it and because I can... The difference between the nibs okay let's get, see if we can get this together here see if we can get a good shot there there's the triple tail and there's the music nib it's got wider fins the triple tail is more slimmer and you can see it three times great nib just a great nib and you know this is my favorite 
music noob right here. I tried, I think, all of them, and this was the one I liked. Oh, there was one more that I did like that I'll do an update review as well. So, this one and another one were the ones I liked. So, anyway... Look at that. It's the kind of pen you want to just doodle with. If you're not writing, you want to doodle with. And you just doodle away. There you have it. There you have it. The Noodler's Triple Tail. Affordable. You're going to get your money's worth in plus. So, hey, give Federal's Pins and Paper a holler. Get Frank busy, okay? And tell him Larry, the pin book guy, sent you. So, my good friends, take care. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Wash those hands. And there's always a lot of peace and a lot of love and even some hugs. And please, don't text and drive. Bye-bye.